just started a new project I'm hoping to bring this out to the golf tournament I'm gonna to make a chip and putt little course on what I call the lobster kind of looks like a big lobster and I carved out this is kind of where the last hole ends and the first hole starts on the right and I'm gonna have a barbecue truck down there it's got all kinds of weird holes in it so I'm gonna try to incorporate that and um, that top part will be a hole that goes down that way and then it's gonna come back this way first hole is gonna go here into this little roundabout second hole down to here third hole on the other side is going to go along the side so <laughs> we'll see i have the beginnings of hole number one so the gathering area is down there you're going to come up path here and then you have the option of shooting it up this long tube or chipping it over into this bowl is kind of like the mouth area of the lobster there's one eye on the left and the other eye on the right something weird on its forehead so anyway there's this kind of cool natural bowl and then I have a hole where the ball comes out and if you make it it'll follow the trail and you'll get a hole in one if you chip it and try to chip it in the bowl who knows what will happen Oop. Here at Big Tubs Dioramas, we're not opposed to going inside when the weather gets bad, which is what happened here in July. And as you can see, I've done a little more work on La Langosta, the lobster course. So hole one, those shells will be filled with resin as the tea box, and you can chip it on or go up the tube I'm debating on about a ladder to go up to hole number two, which you can see. Thinking about putting an eyeball on for the lobster. And then you tee off from an elevated box, and, or you can put it down that little channel. And that channel, if you get it just the right speed, it'll veer off to the claw handle on the right, or you can put it on the left. And these are, this is the main claw. I'll have some red resin in there that glows. Then you walk over to the third hole, and tea box is down here, and this is a side shot. Or you can see there's a little channel. You can hit it if you hit it perfectly along that channel, it'll roll right into the cup. So we got to make hole number four and five still. So here's the ladder that this is hole number three right there the wave hole and then you got to climb this ladder and get into this hole here which is a natural hole that goes through the whole log and as you walk through it you'll come out to the front and it's hard to tell but i drilled a big hole in the front there and that's where you come out and see the staircase you got to walk this little narrow staircase to get up to hole number four which is on top of the head i'll smooth that out and I'm going to draw some lines. I may have something going over these other natural holes. Now, of course, there's an indoor bar in there, you know, on your way to the, the tea box. And there's a couple other channels. If you want to bail out, you can go down to the taco truck. But this comes all the way down. This is the longest hole. It comes down to the tail. And then it gets to this open uh, piece of wood that's got a uh, solar panel in it. And I'm going to drill a hole in one of those panels. And then that, the ball will leak out onto the tail fin here. And I'm going to cut grooves in between these natural grooves to make it kind of a wavy, bumpy green that's really hard to make it. And then you're, I might have a bridge or a, a, a little ladder going over to this other final tee box right here, which is just a really cool piece of driftwood that's got these layers with a natural tee box on top. Then I'll carve out a big section along the whole right side, and that'll finish up right down at uh, Taco Tuesdays there. So I just finished carving everything. Now I just got to get the resin on and figure out where all the little guys are going to go. This is hole number three. 
you go down this I call this the wave hole I'm gonna have a surfboard uh, inside the shell when I put the resin in he's putting out and then he would go up the ladder in through the hole that was the natural hole over to the front where I did some serious carving to get this piece out and yes lobsters do have a horn on their head so we're gonna resin that up and that should look cool uh, you know once you hit that with the black light and then there's some stairs and you go up to the fourth hole and this is definitely the hardest hole and I don't have the tail on there I'm gonna do that on the next video but you have to you can run it down the uh, chosen line if you want to putt it and there's two angles on the putt or you can just hit a shot all the way down if you want and we're gonna show you um, where that goes and then on the other part of the tail the other end of the tail is going to stick out here with the platform to drive or chip the ball into this other kind of a wave hole and this is the finishing hole and there's a big bowl in there and when I was drilling a uh, there's a, a hole that formed in there and I'm gonna put a surprise for the finishing thing that you do on the course and then there's some stairs that come down to the gathering area where you can picnic have some food tacos and uh, you know La Langosta he likes to have people play on him but you know, sometimes he plays them and if he starts moving around this whole course can change very abruptly so that's what's sort of fun about this it's a challenging course but of course that makes it more challenging we like that here at Big Tubs Diorama here's the back side of the tail for hole number four so he tees off from way up there showed a picture of that and, or you can trickle it down through here it'll drop onto here but you have to do it at the right speed because there's going to be a speed bump here and if you do it too slow it's going to trickle down to the side channel then that side channel is going to empty into the shell which will go onto this green here if you make it onto the um, I'm going to cut that off but that will drop down into one of the solar panel sections and I'm going to have a hole in that and then that will trickle out right onto the main here which will actually go right into the hole so you get a hole in one if you do that if you lose your ball there's a drop zone right here that you have to hit from and you gotta you know maybe pop it in the air over to here then you have to jump over to the last hole and this will be the tee box right here that will take you down to that last hole at the end it's got that big bowl there something else there so it's kind of weird but we'll see how it looks when I get it all together on to the most complicated part of the project I've mixed the resin I can see I got a lot of red so I painted with some glow-in-the-dark paint it doesn't work as good as the resin but that is the second tea box there they're going to follow a red ribbon down to the main claw handles and those are going to have the uh, they're going to be full of red resin and then over onto the surf hole now I haven't filled that tee box in yet but that's going to be a blue tee box with some sand and the surfboard and then you got the wave I'm going to put green along the path that you can take for the hole in one and then there's the uh, green there I don't know if you can see it real well, but there's a little side channel that you can walk under. It's kind of got a flip of a wave. So that's supposed to be a wave coming in. And then over to the stairs that go up into the natural hole. I'll put some red resin in there, and that travels all the way up to the front. Oh, I got a little eyeball there, too. I'll show you the front in a minute here. Um, the green resin will go all the way down the back channel and then over here I got some experiments I'm gonna do uh, this claw 
right here is going to be going on to that's the going to be the flag for the last hole and the spiky one is the is the horn that comes out of the top of the head and then the little uh, periwinkle there's a hole in that comes out of that and that's going to take the side channel on uh, hole number four uh, where the ball can trickle out onto the green on the tail and I'm going to put blue resin on that if I have some left over I might paint uh, put some red resin on those chilies there and I have some cups I'm going to try to drop some red resin in these little holes of the shells and shape some eyeballs because I'm not satisfied with just the uh, flat paint on there right now and then on the uh, wax paper I have to make a couple of bridges that go right here there's going to be a bridge that goes from this one over to the main hole so that if you end up on this one you can just put it over a resin bridge we'll see how that turns out so that's this side Here's the front, and you can see I painted some red glow-in-the-dark paint there, and that'll have a horn coming out of it. I don't know if I'll be able to put the actual uh, glow-in-the-dark resin on that, but down the, uh, basically, the line that you putt or hit down, that'll be green. And then there is, in case you have a drop area, you need it, that's a drop area. The tail's not in yet. And then the last hole here, there'll be a fin area that comes out in this area. Um, and then you have to hit it onto this side one. I don't, kind of looks like a guppy or something. I don't know what this hole is called, but that just is going to stay green. I'm not going to do any resin on that. And um, I ran into the, as I was carving it out, it had a big hole right in there. And that's where the claw is going to go and finish that hole up. And then you come down and right in through here is going to be the taco truck and I'll paint some resin in there to make it look like a cool place where the picnic table is going to be. And just like that, you snap your fingers when you're in the right hot tub. You can time travel in just seconds to Minnesota from Maine. And I've brought my projects with. We're up at Lake Roosevelt in northern Minnesota at my cousin John's cabin. Before our big golf tournament, I have to finish that off. And I have all of the gluing on to do of the whole project. Looks like so far everything made it on the airplane. All of this has to go on. So I'm giving myself a couple hours and then it's going to be relax, play some golf. There's some foosball right behind me. And on to the snow ape tournament and i officially have entered grandma ruth and the sasquatch onto the shield i'll be putting the flags on there and now i need to go down into this area and i'm going to be adding several new things this was a late ending plan but my last flag has a hole right there and when I was drilling out I found it went into a little hole and you know how at the end of a mini golf course you lose your ball on the last hole so when you put it into here it's going to go down into that hole and then it's actually going to go through a little interner, internal uh, conveyor belt and what happens is it's going to mix with the price of admission which is a little piece of fish or some crab or something that the lobster likes to eat he gives it to the Sasquatch who's kind of the supervisor the Sasquatch will walk it up to here and inside here is going to be a whole bunch of pieces of fish and that's like the grinder and then it mixes with some other um, shells and things like that and a new ball comes out here some of it goes towards food to feed the lobster that new ball is going to come out here. It's going to run down to the end of the uh, lobster claw here. And then the person can grab the ball and then go over to the first tee box here. So I'm going to put that together. First, I have to put the tail together. These three parts. I got some screws that are going to go on underneath here, underneath this to that. And then the brackets is going to connect this one to this one underneath. And that's going to fit back onto this tail section here. So then I can get on with putting the people on. 
And I finally finished it up. But I'm going to have a ceremony with the boys from the Snow Ape. So we'll do kind of an official walkthrough with them. Very happy with how it turned out. And there's the tail finally. It's going to look uh, really neat with the black light once we hit nighttime. Here we are up at Roosevelt Lake. And as you can see, the trophies have been won. The tournament is over. There was one additional trophy that was that I made for the pissing boy uh, because that one is stuck in California. So we made an alternate out of pine cones and John, the host, won that. And we did a good walk through. This is the first time I've seen it with some glow, but it's morning, so it's not totally dark. And lit up pretty good last night. And that is the end of today's and this year's snow ape.